Hi friends, this is me G1 Rider with G1 Insights. I am all yours today, okay? So what I'm doing is I decided to mix up my channel a little bit, like talk about many different topics. And so you guys can definitely feel free to comment on really any one of my videos or, you know, just maybe simple shoot me an email or a message. Just simply letting me know what you guys would like me to discuss um, on our average daily basis okay i'm going to do three sessions on mondays it will be prosperity mondays okay and then on thursdays it would be um i forgot what it is oh talk think it out tuesday right well think it over not tuesday thursday think it over thursday okay and then we'll have saturdays okay sensation saturdays but today is monday prosperity and i wanted to go a bit deeper i'm going to got my tarot cards here Okay, I got my angel deck here. So we are going to do these readings for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And each and every last one of you will receive an individual reading as well. But this is just more of an overview for the month of April, okay? I am so thankful that Mercury Retrograde is going direct this week. Um, I feel really good. I feel like something is really being lifted off of my shoulders. And I do have Capricorn Sun, so I do... Um, and can kind of relate to a lot of what a lot of you may have been going through. So the first thing first is I noticed that when I pulled out your cards, the first two cards were chakras. Okay. So the first one was your sixth chakra. Okay. That is your third eye guys. And it doesn't really surprise me that you all got this just because you guys can be very intuitive. Okay. You're very intuitive and if you feel like you have this gut feeling that just won't go away, I want you to really, really look into your third eye chakra, okay? And the best way to do that is pretty much with no distraction. No distraction. I mean, especially for a lot of you that have been going through a lot of mental chaos and a lot of uh, trouble in home or within a family circumstances, um, anything really dealing with your finances, anything dealing with miscommunication. Again, I know Mercury Retrograde has really been really daunting on a lot of us, right? Um, but I just want to remind you all of your intuition, Okay, your intuition is going to be your best friend for the next 30 days. I want you to rely on that instinct that won't go away. That instinct that says, don't do it. Don't follow. Don't talk to that person. You know, if your instinct is saying, listen to your heart, maybe I shouldn't move. Or maybe I shouldn't sign that paper. You know, whatever that gut feeling is, I want you to really, really tune in and listen to that. Okay, um, I feel like... There has been a lot of confusion for a lot of you as well. Um, but I feel like with the third eye chakra, there's always a way to get insight. Okay, so maybe meditation. And this is something I'm also going to point out to you is that the other chakra that came out was um, your fifth chakra, which is your throat chakra, my love. Okay, that is your throat chakra. What that means is that because it came out in reverse, that means that a lot of you may have had a hard time with self-expression and maybe this is going to be the perfect time for you to kind of get back to you when it comes to your creativity, when it comes to self-expression of any kind, okay, whatever that is, whether you are writing a book, whether you are a artist, a painter, a songwriter, whatever it is that your talents or skills are, um, especially for those of you that have been starting a new business or looking to start a new business and it's been kind of slow lately, um, whatever it is, I want you to understand that these two chakras will actually help you a lot this season, okay? The reason why is because the third eye simply does bring clarity, and that is what a lot of you need this season, clarity, okay? Your throat chakra, it is so important to stand up for yourself and to speak exactly how you feel. I talk about this all the time that you can still speak how you feel, but you can still do it in a kind way, but you have to stand up for yourself. And I feel like I'm talking to a lot of my Virgos and my Taurus at this point, because um, Capricorns can be kind of tough and they won't really stand anybody just treating them any kind of way. But Taurus and Virgos, you guys can be very um, reluctant 
you know, to certain circumstances. And you can be very sensitive to other people's emotions so much that you tend to um, neglect your own needs and what you really want. You are so busy always taking care of everyone else, Virgo and Taurus, that you tend to neglect your own desires at times. And the universe is telling you that it's time to get back to you and to what you really want. And while everyone else may think that this is selfish, it is not selfish. This is clearly the universe giving you the green light, okay? So last but not least, I think this very last card was really for all three of you. And the reason why is because before I talk about this energy, this is a man, okay, someone who normally represents a lot of good wealth, a lot of great education when it comes to finances, someone who is, um, or this could be even your own energy, whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. You may have a very masculine way of getting what you want when it comes to your finances or just prosperity in general, right? This could also be career related or um, anything, again, dealing with like work, Issues that you may have been having at work, watch out for the dominating or bossy men at your job. Or um, this can even be a man that's in your life. So for some of you, this could even um, be love, okay? This, because it came out in reverse. So, and it looks like this when it's in reverse, okay? And I'm sorry to keep moving the cards around and just that this energy is so, I don't know about you guys. And if you are experiencing those type of things, but I feel like there is a guy around you that you have to watch, okay? And I don't mean like, um, well, I mean good and bad. Because I feel like they come off like this type of person, like really genuine. And uh, they, they come off like they really mean you well. But it's not exactly what they say it is. Like they're not really being truthful to you. Um... And not only just they're not being totally truthful, but this is clear. Watch out for the whoever this person is, this guy, okay? Even if you are a guy and this guy is in your life, whether it's a brother, a lover, a cousin, uncle, it doesn't matter. Whoever this guy is in your life, guys, I'm talking to all earth signs, whoever this person is, watch out that they are not trying to uh, manipulate you in any kind of way this week especially because we are still in that retrograde um moment and even though it is going direct we are still dealing with a lot of that libra full moon energy as well so i feel like you will be kind of sitting back asking yourself a lot of questions like hmm i wonder if they're really going where they said they're going or i wonder if they're really going to take the money that i'm giving them and invest it in something great like watch out that they're not manipulating you or trying to get you to do something that they want you to do because the reality of this is, is that they make it sound so good like they are going to offer you something or make a some type of suggestion and they're going to make it seem like they really really need this so it's something that they really really want and because earth signs in general have a way of um you know, you guys like to be of service, right? Like, you guys love to be of service. And you you just love and you take pride in being there for your family and loved ones. And I think that this particular person is not really being as genuine as you would like them to be, right? Or as if they present themselves as anyway. So they may make some type of... Some type of offer or suggestion to you. I want you to be mindful because what this man is holding is money. Make sure that you are not giving your money to someone who does not or who will not do right by you, okay? Um, and you can drill them. You can stare them down and ask them a thousand questions, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be totally honest with you. I would not recommend that you go through their phone. Again, watch out for that, that third eye chakra because a lot of times when you open your third eye chakra, you see things that you don't really want to see. So unless you are really, truly ready to see, you know, then I would be careful with opening my third eye chakra. I've done it. I've seen things that were beautiful. I've seen things that were kind of a bit uncomfortable. But I want you to understand clarity okay you you need this this is going to be very strong for you this season okay um but this guy is very manipulative very dismissive very self-absorbed he only thinks about himself so you may be saying to him well i think that this is a great moment i think we need to be here i need i think we need to do this or that whatever it is um 
and they may still try to convince you to do something that you don't want to do and you could be stuck with the feeling of feeling guilty because that's what they do to you they have a tendency of making you feel guilty when you don't help them out or when you're not there for them they have a tendency of making you feel guilty um and they'll try they'll try their best to manipulate you and lie to you and i'm telling you they will come on so sweet and this for some of you this might be someone new for some of you this might be an ex-lover that you are thinking about um moving back in with or taking back i want you to truly 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 make sure that this person is not trying to hurt you in any kind of way make sure that they are not just using you for your money make sure that they are not like you know making some drastic decision like for instance they might say hey i want to move to i don't know what city like los angeles for example right <laughs> they may say hey let's go to los angeles we got the money you know they make it sound real juicy right but in the back of your mind you knew that you wanted to go elsewhere you had other plans you had other goals but they're so good they'll really try to convince you so be mindful of that i don't know about you guys but it have definitely been happening to me for the past week and subconsciously i you know i would just kind of flowing with things i didn't really um really notice it really until i spoke with one of my spiritual coaches and i also um watched a lot of astrologers and their energy this week and then i also did a more bit more digging on the whole astrological energy and where the planets are at the moment and i do know that for you earth signs this is going to be a great season overall but this person the problem is i don't think that this person needs to go with you that is a problem well i don't know if it's a problem it might be a problem for them <laughs> but for you earth sign okay this I don't think that this person can come along on this new journey of yours. I feel like a lot of you are going somewhere and you cannot afford a bunch of distractions. Um, this person is very absorbed, abs <laughs> very self-absorbed, excuse me. This person is very self-absorbed, very uh, ignorant in a sense. Like um, they can be very sarcastic, very um, indecisive, like kind of never really know what they want. A bit disrespectful as well. And they can also, they have a way about them that is not totally honest. So whatever you do, Earth signs, just make sure that, and I, I know that you guys are pretty logical, right? But again, we, you guys have such a big heart. And I know because, again, my sun sign is Capricorn and my moon sign is Taurus. So I get it. I know how you guys are. Um, I have plenty of friends that are Earth signs and family that are Earth signs. And I will say that the one thing that we all absolutely have in common is that we do have too much sometimes of a big heart and when you have too much time of a big heart people will try to take advantage of you so my whole um advice to you earth signs is just to be on point be on guard you know um i'm not saying not to trust anybody but whoever this individual is yeah they think that you don't know and thanks to g1 insights you now know <laughs> what to watch out for thanks to the universe we are enlightened okay so that is something that I want you all to pay attention to. Be on guard. Focus on your third eye chakra. If you don't know how to do that, I can show you. But pray about it. You know, manifest. You know, do whatever you got to do. Focus on everything this season that brings you joy, okay? And I guarantee you that you will not go wrong. No matter how much this person will try to stop you from being successful, being productive, going after your goals. Because, again, they're going to try to make you feel guilty because you're working and you're, you're manifesting and you're being of service and you're doing what you got to do for you and your family and your loved ones so they're gonna try to distract you big time and they're gonna try to get you go to go back to a place that's familiar to them and that they're comfortable with and that they desire and what they want right and in the same note they're not considering you at all and I need you guys to hear me on that because when earth signs are totally in love um yeah you, you know what happened like we get too involved we get too attached and we don't want to hear anything else right so be very very cautious if this is an individual at work stay away from this person okay don't allow them to convince you to go out to the bar or like to um to do something that's outside of work related okay like don't trust uh too many men at the moment <laughs> and i hate to say that but yeah i don't know what's going on but even i was watching something earlier with td jakes and 
He even says something like, it's something going on with the men in the universe these days. <laughs> and it, it sparked my interest because I was like, wow, like I've been hearing these, these messages all week. Like, and it's scary, guys. So I just wanted to really share this with you because when I receive enlightenment or awakening of some, um, some form, I love to share it with you. So Earth Signs, I love you. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, let me know what you're feeling about this message because it really touched me. And again... You know, this is for all of you, but I will go back and do an individual reading for all of you, okay? Just so we can elaborate on the situation a bit more, okay? But right now, that was just your strict overview from the month of April, or at least for like that first week of April, okay? From this point, okay, it's March 25th, 2019, Mercury Retrograde is still hanging around, but it's almost over, and then we can celebrate Okay, but that first week of April, whatever happens this week determines what happened in April. So this is why I need you guys to be focused. Okay, I love you guys, but I gotta go. Bye. Mwah.